Today, we're going to discuss unique marketing campaigns every insurance agency should know about. This is not going to be your normal old typical, you guys should buy a list and you should uh, then do this and then, you know, you got to telemarket and you should, no, we're going to talk about some unique things that we are doing with the Williams Family Investment Group and over at Inspire Nation that's really making a difference in how we're marketing our agencies, okay? So be prepared for that. What's the purpose of today's webinar? One, to introduce you to unique but successful marketing campaigns. Two, to remind you why Inspire Nation Business Mentoring is the best insurance agent mentoring company in the United States. Three, convince you to sign up for the two-day Fix My Insurance Agency Work Implementation Workshop. We only have one left this year. That's in September, September 23rd. So I want to get as many people into it as I can. Four, to show you why you should be mentoring or be a member of Inspire Nation if you need help in your agency. So those are the four reasons that we're having today's webinar. I want to remind everyone of this. Scalable and freedom go hand in hand. Let's be honest, we're in the insurance industry. So we're not trying to work like construction workers and all these folks that really, really have this labor intensive pr profession. That's not us, that's not what we do. We want freedom, we want flexibility, we want all these wonderful things. We wanna be able to go out and play golf in the afternoons and still take care of our community and take care of all the people that trust us. But until your technology, automation and process Processes are stronger than your people, your business can't be scalable. And that means you can't have mental or physical freedom. Please remember that. Your technology, your automation, and your processes have to be stronger than your people. If your agency is relying on the strength of just your people and you're not supporting them with technology and automation and processes, your agency is 50% of what it could be if everything worked together. I'm not saying you don't need strong people, but I do know agencies that are very successful who have average people, but above average technology, above average automation, above average processes, and they're making above average money and doing above average sales and retention. And then I know people that, I know agencies that have great people, but their automation sucks, their technology sucks, they don't have processes, so they're not nearly as good as they could be. Here's the first thing we want to talk about. Five best insurance prospects. Don't waste your time chasing people who are not one of your five best prospects. So who are they? Number one, your current customers are your, is one of your five best prospects. And then referrals. And these are customers or either referrals from a business referral partner or referrals you send to a business referral partner that are going to come back to you as referrals. And I'll tell you, I'll show you in a little bit down the road exactly what that means when I say send them to a referral partner and then that same referral you sent to them comes back to you as your referral for business. All right. Number three is active interest prospects. These are people that have shown an active interest in your product or service by contacting you, requesting a quote or more information. They either provided their contact information on a lead magnet or attended a live event. Maybe they showed up for a conference call or a webinar, something that you participated in. These are active interest prospects. Number four, former customers, people that loved you before, but for whatever reason they left, these are great people to reach out to. And then number five, people that have an upcoming need or possible upcoming need for your product. They left you before, but you know that their renewal date is coming up. Maybe they have a specific target or meet a specific target demographic. Maybe they live in a specific neighborhood. They recently had a life change, like they got married. They had a baby. They recently moved. They got promoted. Something that says, this person possibly needs my product or service. Now, the key is to generate or purchase a list of people that have that possible need. So these are your five best prospects. Let's go over them again. Current customers, referrals, both customers and referrals from and to referral partners, active interest prospects, former customers, and then people that have a possible upcoming need for your product or service. Now, in order to reach those five best prospects, that means you gotta use a combination of your agency management system, 
your marketing systems that you use, if you either do it within your office or hire virtual assistants or have a third party that's going to help you, and then Zapier. You're going to hear me talk a lot today about Zapier integrations, and that's because Zapier has made our, my investment group millions of dollars because of how we can make our technology talk to each other and work together. So you need those, to reach those five best prospects, you need that combination of agency management, marketing management, your own people or third-party people, virtual assistants, and of course, Zapier integrations. Now, there are 10 main marketing methods. I, I know what you guys are saying. Well, Billy, no, 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 there are a million ways to market. Yes, there are a million ways to market, but they fall under this or these 10 main methods. Number one is signage. Signage, or that's your business cards, your marquee that's outside your door, your billboards, your, your, your bench signs, your yard signs that you put up, but signage. Number two, phone calls. Not just outbound phone calls or inbound phone calls, but marketing phone calls, like conference calls or recorded messages and things like that. Number three is text messaging, and if you're not using text messaging, shame on you. That means you're missing out on one of the 10 main marketing methods that's driving business today. And we're not just talking about, I'm going to use my cell phone and text. We're talking about inbound text campaigns where when you put out something on a billboard or on a, a bus bench or you put on something on, a, on TV or radio or whatever, and you give them the opportunity to text message into your agency. That's what we mean, what we mean by that. Text messaging is a lead magnet. You can drive people to leave their name, contact information, request more information, all of that through text messaging. And again, I'll show you that today. Number four is email, and this is how we collect email addresses, how we find email addresses, how we send lead magnets to those email addresses. Social networking, big deal. I know that some, some of you on the line are saying, no, Billy, it's not that big of a deal to me. I don't use it. Well, that just means you're missing out on business. Let's just get that straight. It means you're missing out. Social networking is not what it was 10 years ago when it was just me trying to connect with my high school buddy. Now it's a, it's a legitimate multi-billion dollar business, and it has a legitimate multi-billion dollar marketing arm to it. So we need to use it. Facebook Messenger, we're going to talk about that today. Facebook Messenger ads, LinkedIn direct message ads. These are all powerful tools that you can use. Then there's SEO, search engine optimization, such as videos, chatbots, keywords, key phrases, web forms, online ads, articles that you write, blogs that you write, all these wonderful things. Then their customer and business professional referrals. So again, this is how we generate leads for our referral partners and how our referral partners send leads back to us. Postal mail. Now, we're going to show you some unique things about postal mail today, such as how to use FedEx and how to drive people to, by using a postcard and driving people to a web page that's their own personal private web page with their name and their information. So that's called a, a personal URL. Okay, we're going to talk about that, or a pearl. That's what we're going to talk about today as well. Group presentations, where we're looking at conference calls, videos, webinars. Guys, what we're doing today is a group presentation. There's 1,400 of you that are registered for this webinar. That's a group, okay, pretty big group. And so we want to make sure that we're really addressing those individualized quotes and things like that. So we use personalized quote videos, even within our group presentations. And then, of course, it all boils down to a lead magnet. A lead magnet is written content, whether it's articles, blogs, books, ebooks. It could be audio content, such as conference calls, podcasts, recorded hotlines. It could be video content, such as YouTube, video, personal videos, promotional videos. But it's a lead magnet. And a lead magnet's job is to find out who's actually interested in what we're talking about. So what is a lead magnet? What's the definition of a lead magnet? A lead magnet is a piece of content, and remember, content can be written, video, audio, whatever, but it's a piece of content that prompts people to show an interest in your product or service and to provide their contact information. That's the whole key. So when you guys download something, well, let's take this webinar. When you registered for this webinar, some of you did it by going to the GoToMeeting link and you registered that way. Some of you downloaded the agency business plan and that automatically registered you for this webinar. Point is, you did something that said, Billy, I have an interest in what you're talking about. 
and I'm willing to give you some information, some contact information in order to get that training topic was or to get in touch with you or to at least understand what you're trying to put out to us. But you provided some information. That is a lead magnet. So I use videos, text messaging, all those wonderful things. Like I said, it can be written content, marketing ads, web forms, landing pages, chat bots, videos, podcasts, downloadable, downloadable material. All of that is a lead magnet. And that's what we've got to get to in the insurance industry. The days of sitting back and aggressively waiting on the phone to ring. Those days are few and far between. There are too many distractions between, wow, I really need to get an insurance quote and let me pick up the phone and call an agent. There are a million distractions. We need to find a place within that noise. We need to find a place within that structure of what they're doing. And we gotta make it easy for people. Understand, people want easy, they want convenient, they want at my fingertips. That's the world that we live in. And there are a lot of ways that we in the insurance industry can do it, we're just not doing it. 